Good morning, greetings friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 32 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis, and while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we are here for you on the Bright Side. We welcome your calls at 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products, the longevity business, health challenges you or a loved one may be dealing with, or a comment or success story you'd like to share, 844-236-6010 is our number. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the Bright Side, please go to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com and sign up right off our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can purchase all your favorite longevity products off our websites. You can also call the Bright Side Ben phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. For one time $25 fee, you can be in business for yourself, start a longevity business, just get your products at the wholesale price if you so desire, or make as little or as much money as you want. Some folks are making upwards of ten or fifty thousand dollars a month. And it's really not a lot of selling. People try the longevity products, especially if they never never supplemented before. They try the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, the Healthy Star Pack, the ultimate EFAs, and literally lives change. Literally. If you're on medication. If you're on many medications and you all of a sudden can wean yourself down, reduce your dose, eliminate them entirely, that's life-changing. And that's what nutritional supplementation with the longevity products can do for you. Call 866-735-2470 if you want to sign up or click on the Join the Team link at brightsignben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. Okay. We are talking about hyaluronic acid. That's what we've last been talking about. We've been talking about all kinds of stuff that have to do with the polysaccharides and glucosamine and connective tissue. Last program, we left off talking about hyaluronic acid, which is one of my all-time favorite nutritional supplements and biochemicals or biomolecules in the body. Hyaluronic acid plays a major role in skin health, building connective tissue. It's a critical component of cell membranes. Hyaluronic acid is how connective tissue stays hydrated. One of the signs of, uh, of aging skin is a loss of hydration at the lower levels. We often think of hydration when we think of hydrating the skin. We'll think about the surface. And hydration is important there too, of course. Water is 60% or so, 60 to 70% of the body. Hydration is very, very important. Hydration is maintained via connective tissue. The water in the body is a kind of matrix of connective tissue and uh, uh, of connective tissue and water. The, the water in the body is magnetically attracted to the connective tissue. There's a really incredible relationship between connective tissue, polysaccharides, and water. Polysaccharides and connective tissue restructure water. In fact, the restructuring of water that occurs when water is linked up to a connective tissue and hyaluronic acid and uh, polysaccharides is a is considered to be a fourth state a fourth type of water and a, a brand new type of water this was just discovered maybe 20 30 years ago 
how water, we all know about the three forms of water. You got ice, you got steam, and you got liquid water. Well, there's actually a fourth form of water that was just discovered in the last couple of decades. And this fourth form of water is called structured water, or some people will call it EZ water. EZ stands for exclusion zone water. And this fourth type of water, this structured water, that is the result of the uh, relationship between collagen, between the collagen molecules and the H2O molecules, or between polysaccharide molecules and the H2O molecules. This new type of structured water is why, well, it has a couple of implications when it comes to how we take care of ourselves. Number one, it's why um, you can't necessarily drink more water and help your skin stay moist, or you can't necessarily drink more water and stay, have your tissues stay moist. Yes, you need to drink water, but it's not just drinking water. That's why people will drink water and nothing ha happens with their dry skin. If anybody ever tells you to drink more water for your dry skin, they're not quite understanding how this whole thing works. Water has to be trapped. That's called bound water. And this bound water is an amazing, amazing substance. It's why the second implication of this uh, bound water is why our bodies are 60 to 70% water and we don't slosh around like a puddle. It's because the water is a, it's almost like a solid water. They call it a liquid crystal. Liquid crystal is like a, a blend of a solid and a liquid. And that's the way water is in the body. It's liquid crystal. It's not liquid water. It's not solid water. It's liquid crystal water. It's easy water. It's bound water. It's magic water, if you will. This magic water is amazing, amazing stuff. It's highly electroconductive. Highly. Now, if you, if you can't drink water to support tissue hydration, because liquid water that we drink is not, necessarily, uh, is not necessarily converted into bound water, how is it that we can stay hydrated? Well, you got to drink water, obviously. You got to have water in your system. But because it's about the connection, the relationship between, between connective tissue, polysaccharides and collagen and such, and the water that make us stay hydrated, you want to build your connective tissue. You want to use things that help you build connective tissue. This is why on this program, I'd always, and everywhere, whenever I do my presentations, I'm always talking about building connective tissue. It's the very essence of health. It's the very essence of anti-aging. Building connective tissue. When we think of connective tissue, we think of arthritis. But I'm talking here about every single marker of health, every single marker of anti-aging you can name. Because... Connective tissue pulls in the water, and the water and is highly electromagnetic, and the connective tissue is. Our electromagnetics are maintained by water and connective tissue. So hyaluronic acid is amazing, amazing stuff. Hyaluronic acid is uh, technically a type of, of chemical called a uronic acid. Hyaluronic acid is especially is a, a class of uronic acids. And uronic acids are really important for detoxification. Hyaluronic acid is made up of two molecules. One is called NAG, NAG, which is a type of glucosamine, and N-acetylglucosamine, an important healing molecule, especially for blood vessels and for the digestive tract. And then the second part of hyaluronic acid is a uronic acid. It's called glucuronic acid. And this glucuronic acid is one of the most important detoxification substances in the body. So hyaluronic acid is not just important for, for building. When we eat hyaluronic acid, it helps, us, helps the connective tissue stay strong. The hyaluronic acid that we eat goes into making connective tissue. Hyaluronic acid is, is a building substance. Hyaluronic acid that we eat, just like cartilage, just like when you eat cartilage, it goes to make your cartilage, just like when you eat glucosamine, it goes to make your glucosamine. Hyaluronic acid supplements, taking the hyaluronic acid, helps you make connective tissue, helps deposit hyaluronic acid in cells and in connective tissue, in cells probably. So eating hyaluronic acid can help you build hyaluronic acid, but can also get you this breakdown product, stuff, this stuff called glucuronic acid, which is a major player in detoxification. We'll talk about that when we come back from our break. 844-236-6010 is our number. We've got lines open. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll return right after this. Okay, we're back on The 
Right Side. Pharmacist Ben here. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific, 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on the archive pages at benfuchsarchives.com and brightsideben.com. You can purchase longevity products at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team off our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. And I'd also like to remind you to check out our Truth Skin health products at truthtreatments.com, truth retinol 5% gel, truth omega 6 healing cream, truth transdermal C balm, and our award winning truth transdermal C serum, voted one of the top 150 products in the world by Harper's Bazaar magazine, and our new truth biomimetic priming mist made with plant derived fulvic minerals, high hyaluronic acid, and lactate and amino acids. And speaking of high hyaluronic acid, amazing substance. Not only is it important for structure, it's important for water trapping. This whole idea of water trapping is just mind-blowing to me. Water trap. You know, a jellyfish is 95% water, something like that. Ridiculous amount of water. But somehow it's able to maintain its existence as an animal, simple as it may be. Jellyfish have little simple nervous systems and little somehow they managed to float around as independent organisms even though they're 95 percent water how could this be well it's because it's not just water it's not ordinary water it's magic water it's exclusion zone water it's easy water it's bound water bound water is different from bulk water bulk water is drinking water it's not the same thing as bound water bound water and bulk water don't interact Bulk water is of a, it's like a, it's like a completely different type of water. And all water, by the way, has a certain amount of bulk water in it because water is always associated with things. It's the universal solvent. Water is kind of interesting stuff. Water can, water can put out a fire and water can actually cause a burn. Water can burn. Burning of, uh, uh, salted, burning of seawater has occurred when it's, uh, irradiated by radio waves. Water can actually catch fire, and it puts fire out. Atmospheric water, water in the atmosphere, can be stronger than steel. Atmospheric water generates electricity. That's what lightning is. There's all kinds of interesting tidbits, factual tidbits about water, but the most in- incredible thing to me is this idea that there is a, a state of water which is of a completely different nature than the kind of water we're all used to, the kind of all water we all think about. And this this new state of water, this fourth state of water, is maintained in the body by the connective tissue and by hyaluronic acid. But hyaluronic acid is not just about hydrating. Hyaluronic acid also is important for healing and wound healing and detoxification. Hyaluronic acid is composed of glucuronic acid, also known as glucurate, and glucuronic acid is a major part of the detoxification pathways in the liver. Maybe it's arguably one of the most important detox. It is certainly one of the most important detox molecules in the body. It may be the most important detox molecule in the body, at least in the liver. And glucuronidation is a key biochemical process when it comes to clearing out estrogen. Glucuronidation occurs in the intestines as well as in the liver. Estrogen is, speaking of... Uh, Speaking of uh, incredible molecules and, or interesting molecules, estrogen is an, another really fascinating molecules, a fascinating molecule in the body. A lot of health issues have been attributed to estrogen, PCOS, depression, hypothyroidism. More women than men are victims of Alzheimer's disease. That imp- implies that there's an estrogen connection. Whenever there's a health challenge that affects women more than men, <clears throat> that implies some kind of estrogen connection because Estrogen is a distinguishing hormone between men and women. More, more women are uh, victims of Alzheimer's disease. More women suffer from hypothyroidism. More women, su- women suffer from depression, from fibromyalgia, from chronic fatigue, from autoimmunity. And these are all indicators of estrogen problems. Not so much taking estrogen as much as detoxifying estrogen. Not, not so much as estrogen, the hormone itself, because it's obviously the body makes estrogen for a reason. Estrogen is an important hormone, but it's really potent stuff. And estrogen has to be cleared out of the body, has to be detoxified out of the body. And quickly, if you're 
uh, taking estrogen as a drug, that is, if you're on the birth control pill or you're on estrogen replacement therapy, and you're not metabolizing your estrogen correctly, you are playing with fire. And this is why hormone replacement therapy, as logical as it may sound, oh, I don't have enough hormones, I'll just take hormones. Sounds logical, right? However, because of the toxicity associated with breakdown products of estrogen, it's a really bad health strategy. Birth control pills the same thing, the same way. Birth control pill is also, uh, well, birth control pill is even worse because birth control pill is a high dose of estrogen, way higher than you would be taking ordinarily. Estrogen, uh, estrogen replacement therapy is still, still a high dose. Even if you're taking Premarin or you're taking Ogen or you're on so-called bioidentical hormone therapy, the dose that you have to take has to be way, way higher than the dose that your body will use that will get into the tissues because your body clears out estrogen so quickly. So you got to be dosed at a higher level. Birth control pill, though, is even worse. That's over the top in terms of the dosages. And the birth control pill, birth control pill is always a toxic form of estrogen. A case could be made that with uh, so-called bioidentical, even though I don't agree with it, so-called bioidentical hormone therapy, you're getting identical hormones, uh, hormones that are identical to the ones your body makes, but still, it's, you can't be bioidentical. That's more marketing jargon than it is actual science. So if you're on hormone replacement therapy and you're on the birth control pill and you're not detoxifying your estrogen, you are playing with fire or not detoxifying it completely. And guess what? This glucuronidation system that detoxifies estrogen, estrogen, estrogen also detoxifies cigarette smoke. It also detoxifies other medication. So if you're smoking cigarettes or if you're uh, on other prescription drugs, it also detoxifies uh, the brown stuff off of the, the brown stuff off of meat that you when you burn your meat, the black stuff, the charred stuff, so-called HCAs. If you're eating a lot of barbecue or you're taking a lot of medication or you're smoking cigarettes, you can overload your glucuronidation detox system. This is one of the hidden problems associated with prescription drugs, by the way, that you never hear about. Prescription drugs overload, or at least put a burden on the body's detoxification systems. This will predispose you to adverse reactions, side effects, and ultimately even to a shortened life caused by prescription drugs that won't show up on the package insert. This is where prescription drugs can cause some serious problems that nobody ever talks about. Yeah, we all know about the side effects that are on the package insert that you read about in the PDR, <clears throat> excuse me, the physician's desk reference, but the fact that your prescription drugs put a burden on glucuronidation and other liver detox pathways makes you more susceptible to other health challenges. Just another reason to stay off your drugs. And if you already got estrogen problems, now you're really a problem. If you're on prescription drugs and you're on ERT, and you're smoking cigarettes. This is why all the studies that have ever been done on people who smoke cigarettes and take hormone replacement therapy show that you're at a much, much higher risk for things like blood clots and cardiovascular health problems, uh, cardiovascular health issues. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. You're listening to The Bright Side. We will take a commercial break, come back with more good health information, and you and your phone calls right after this on The Bright Side. Don't go away. on the bright side and we do have lines open for you at 844-236-6010 844-236-6010 if you have questions about supplementation or health challenges you or a loved one may be dealing with if you have a success story you'd like to share or if you just want to comment on anything we're talking about here today we welcome your comments and questions at 844-236-6010 844-236-6010 if you want to purchase any of the longevity products that you hear recommended on the bright side call 866-735-2470 that's 866-735-2470 or go to brightsideben.com pharmacistben.com or criticalhealthnews.com we'll get your calls here in just a second and we do have lines open at 844-236-6010 from uh, the federation of american societies for experimental biology the body's own cannabis that is marijuana, is good for the skin. 
Scientists from Hungary, Germany, and the UK have discovered that our body, our own body, not only makes chemical compounds similar to THC, the active ingredient in marijuana, but these play an important role in maintaining healthy skin. I've been saying this for years. In fact, I'm working on a whole CBD endo, uh, cannabinoid, not endocannabinoid, but cannabinoid skin health, uh, uh, skin health line, skincare products. I've got a couple already. We're working on a few more. Endocannabinoids, so-called endocannabinoids, uh, are elements that are found in the body that are very similar to elements or molecules that are found in the marijuana plant. How do you like that? According to uh, Thomas Bureau, MD, senior scientist involved in the research, quote, our preclinical data encourage one to explore whether endocannabinoid system acting agents can be exploited in the management of common skin disorders. It is also suggested that these agents can be effect, uh, efficiently applied locally in the skin in the form of a cream, unquote. You're going to see more and more of this. Cannabinoids in skincare products. You know what cannabinoids do to the skin? They calm it down. They're calming agents, just like cannabinoids do that for us internally, or when you smoke them or eat them. Cannabinoids have a calming effect on the body. And cannabinoids are found everywhere in nature. They're not just found in, in marijuana, and they're not just found in human bodies. They're an evolutionarily conserved, is how they say them, is, that, is the term they use. Evolutionary con, evolutionarily conserved means they're found in the most primitive of creatures. Endocannabinoids are. And they're found in abundance in plants and not just cannabis. They're found in hops. They're found in cinnamon. They're found in clove. They're found in a herb called skullcap. They're found in lemon balm. They're found in all kinds of herbs. Found in oats. They're found in all kinds of uh, uh, grains and seeds. They're comforting agents. And it's, they're, why, they're one of the reasons, anyway, why uh, certain foods are called comfort foods. There's lots of reasons why these foods are called comfort foods, but they're all molecular reasons, and one of those molecules is the cannabinoids. How many people are in jail for wanting to calm themselves down for, with cannabinoids? This whole idea of, you know, I, I know we talk about this periodically, but this whole idea of some drugs being okay and other drugs not being okay, we've got to reexamine that whole notion. I was just reading last week how a drug called ketamine, which is a prescription drug, an anesthetic that's used in surgery, is now being touted as a powerful antidepressant. Ecstasy, MDMA, is being used for PTSD. Yeah, how many people are in jail for, or how many people are uh, not only in jail for using ecstasy, but not allowed to use ecstasy for things like PTSD? And when, so it could be just as good as Prozac. I wonder if something has to, if this has something to do with patents, by the way. You might want to consider that. All right. Another story here. We'll get your phone calls, 844-236-6010. This one just, I just read this today. This is kind of interesting. Hawaii may be about to ban your favorite sunscreen to protect its coral reefs. It turns out that when people jump in the ocean with their toxic sunscreens on, the ocean dies. The coral reefs die. State lawmakers passed legislation, Hawaiian state lawmakers passed legislation Tuesday that would ban skincare companies from selling and distributing sunscreens on the islands that contain two chemicals deemed damaging to coral reefs. They're called octoxinate, which is also known as octanoxate, I should say, and it's also known as octomethoxycinamate. Octomethoxycinamate. If you're not reading the ingredients in your skincare products, you should. And if you're not reading the ingredients in your sunscreens, you should. You'll see octomethoxycinamate in almost all of them. And then oxybenzone, which is big time toxic. They're both really toxic, but oxybenzone is... It's almost one of the most toxic substances you could ever find in a skincare product. It's only used in the tiniest of concentrations, but nonetheless, it's really toxic. That's why, by the way, it's only used in super tiny concentrations because of its lethal profile. And not just to uh, coral reefs, to all cells. They're both cytotoxic. Yes, cytotoxic, cell killing. How we can put on a cell killing chemical on our skin just blows me away. The idea of putting a cell, cell killing chemical on our skin and doing it with our, not only our doctor's blessing, but our doctor's recommendation and suggestion just blows me away. Just like it's killing the coral reefs. What do you think it's doing to your skin? Not good. What it's doing to your skin is not good. Oh, but I, am gonna, I might get sunburned. Use zinc oxide. Zinc oxide is not only non-toxic, but it's even healing. Only use zinc oxide if you want to protect your skin from sunburn or aging. And by the way, only oxybenzone 
will protect your skin from aging. Yes, oxybenzone, the most toxic of all the sun protection chemicals, is the only chemical, or and its derivatives, that will protect the skin from UVA, which is your aging sun ray. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's go to the phones and say good morning to Chris in Texas. How you doing, Chris? Hi, Dr. Ben. I'm sure you're aware of the whole uh, synthetic meat movement. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Have you... industry happening in California. I was just reading about it, and uh, apparently one of the problems with synthetic meat is I don't think it has any fat. Is that correct? I mean, fat is... No, good, they... Right? No, they do everything. They, they, they mimic it as best as they can. You need to have fat. Without fat, meat doesn't taste very good. And by the way, it's called cultured meat. That's the technical term, not synthetic meat, <laughs> whatever it is. It doesn't sound like anything I would be eating personally. You, you know, it's like another one of those, I don't know. You know, this is the first time we've actually made food this way. So maybe it does taste the same way. Maybe it does taste just as good. I don't know. You know how they, you know, the whole idea. Go ahead. The, 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 thing, the thing is, Dr. Ben, the reason why I prefer meat over eggs, for instance, is, I mean, I realize that eggs are the ideal food, but eggs are so much trouble. How so? Pain. I don't like to mess with eggs. You, you want a quick way to make your eggs? Quick, easy way to make eggs? First of all, raw eggs, sure. are, about, raw eggs are about as simple as it gets. Crack one in your smoothie every day. I mean, it's just, it doesn't get any simpler than that. But here's a real easy way to make eggs. Crack, uh, open, crack an egg, put it in a paper cup, stick it in the microwave. For 30 seconds, pull it out again, stir it up again, stick it back in for 30 or 40 seconds. You have perfect scrambled eggs. Eat it out of the cup, throw in some onions and some, some tomatoes and some hot sauce, and then uh, throw the cup away when you're done. Come on. You want easier than that? Chris? Well, it doesn't get any easier than uh, pre-cooked meat. <laughs> I mean, I'm, <laughs> I'm, well, I'm pretty lazy when it comes to The problem with pre-cooked probably... meat, and I'm, not, I'm not a vegetarian, but there's, a, there's huge problems with meat. <laughs> There are huge problems with meat. I mean, it's just such a problematic food. The way, if you're going out and hunting, you're grass-fed bison or deer or whatever, that's different. You know, if you're out, out on the plains shooting buffalo, that's a whole different thing. Or, or deer or whatever, and then you're eating your venison. But the way we eat meat is just, it's problematic. There's too much nasty stuff in there. And, and it's just a problem. So you can, I'm not telling you what to do, and I do eat meat myself. Not a lot, but I do eat it. But it's just a problematic food. Eggs are the perfect food. All right, hang on, Chris. We'll finish up when we come back. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. Hunters, four, anglers, three, campers, six. and survivors. Okay, we're back on The Bright Side. 844-236-6010 is our number. We're talking to Christopher in Texas. Hey, Chris. So, uh, and let me, ta- let, me take this, let me take this to another level, Ben. How long yeah. do you think it'll be before we'll get to... The level of Star Trek, where uh-huh. they Holog- just replicate everything, food, everything. Well, we have 3D printers now, right? They're 3D printing, you know, parts for spaceships and cars and 3D printing drugs and 3D printing organs, kidneys, and skin. Good point. Right? I mean, Good so point. it's pretty, that's a, as close, you know, that's a replication machine right there. I don't know, you know, as far as the holodeck goes and, and that kind of stuff, I don't know, probably not that far away. I mean, look at how fast everything's going now. Have you heard of this thing called the singularity? The singularity? This guy wrote a book called The Singularity is Near, Ray Kurzweil, a couple of years ago. There's all kinds of amazing, ridiculous stuff happening, like in terms of technology. Yeah, which like, is like, mind blowing. Like prosthetic, so, prosthetic memory? Prosthetic memory? I, I, I mean, oh, prosthetic memory? Really? Like, or, like uh, limbs? Prosthetic limbs with a memory? Or you're talking about artificial memory? Yeah. Artificial memory, that's yeah, scary. soul uploading, memory uploading. There's all kinds of that, crazy that, that, things. That, that's, some, that's some scary stuff because uh, how can you trust? AI uh, doesn't think the, it's uh, scary. Hey, Chris, AI doesn't think it's scary, just humans. You know what I'm saying? Well, so, so, uh, so, y- Sophia, Sophia the robot probably doesn't think it's scary. Exactly, exactly. That's what I'm saying. So. You know, it may be scary to us humans, us silly humans, and we are pretty silly, us human beings. If I was AI, I would think human beings are pretty, pretty, a pretty silly species, wouldn't you? Uh, something I'd like for you to talk about more in the future is uh, toxins, like endotoxins, exotoxins. 
Yeah, endotoxins are a very interesting subject. The body does, and we were talking a little bit about that in terms of estrogen. Uh, endotoxins meaning toxins that are made by the body. Typically, when the body d deteriorates or breaks down uh, substances, it will have intermediary steps. And those intermediary steps oftentimes are endotoxic inside toxins. Now, exotoxins, that's a whole different thing. And our whole, our, our world is filled with these exotoxins. And they're, you know, pretty much the genie is out of the bag on that one. There's not much you could do. Do you know it rains glyphosate? It rains fertilizer, toxic pesticides, I should say. It rains toxic herbicides and pesticides. It rains them. So even if you're eating organic, it's still raining glyphosate on your organic lettuce. Chris, I got to motivate. I got a bunch. Of okay. Okay. Take care. Thanks for your call. Appreciate it. Let's go to Susan in Rhode Island. Good morning, Susan. Welcome to the Bright Side. Thank you, Ben. I'm really enjoying your show. I'm calling about my 69-year-old husband. He's a Vietnam veteran. He spent three tours of duty there, and mm. they're testing him now for Agent Orange. He is a mess. He has how, how old is he? all over his legs. Oh, I'm so sorry. How old is he? Terrible joint pain in every joint of his body. Can't sleep at night. He's, I, I just don't know what to do. That's what terrible. To do, what to recommend? Here's what, for here's what you would, yeah, that's terrible. I'm so sorry. Um, here's what you got to do. You got to work on his body's detoxification system. You've got to reduce the load on the detoxification system. And I would be doing all kinds of chelating agents, things that help pull, pull, uh, toxins out of the body. Agent orange is stored. It's gonna be a little bit tricky, but anything he can do will help him along those lines will help him. So first of all, as far as reducing toxic load, he's got to be really paying attention to what he's eating. Hopefully he's not smoking, not drinking, not taking drugs. All that stuff is going to put a burden on the body, reducing beer sugar. Counts, in right? Be beer well, counts, right? Beer absolutely counts. Loves I mean, it's all beer. What's that? He loves his beer. That's you know, I'm not telling them what one. to do. I'm not telling you or him what to do. I'm not yeah, preaching yeah. about any of that stuff. I'm just saying these yep. put lo an extra load on the body that he doesn't yep. need now. And while he may have been able to handle it when he was younger, it could be adding up at this point. Mm -hmm. So you do what he wants to do, but just know that the, the body, the immune system, and the detoxification system operate under a condition called load. And load is like a straw that breaks the camel's back sort of thing, where straw one, straw two, straw three, straw four, straw five don't do anything, but then straw six breaks the camel's back. Mm -hmm. And by eliminating straw one and straw two and straw three, you can reduce the likelihood that the, back, the camel's back, the immune system camel's back, is going to break. And that's all I'm telling you. And beer counts, yes. Sugar counts. Processed foods count. McDonald's counts. You know, all the things that we do that put a toxic load on the body count. If the body can't use it, it has to eliminate it. So if you're putting stuff in the body that the body cannot use, and that includes drugs, the body cannot use drugs. I want to be very clear here. The body cannot use prescription drugs. It has to eliminate them and detoxify them, and that's just going to put an added load on the body. Use fiber every day. Bentonite clay would be great for him every day. Zeolite would be great for him every day. And then make absolutely positively sure... He's on a good nutritional supplement program. I would get him on the Healthy Start Pack right away. And a vitamin C is particularly helpful for the detoxification system. We were talking uh, earlier on the program about glucuronidation. Get him something called calcium D-glucurate, which we're going to be talking about here in the next few days. Calcium D-glucurate is a great detoxif uh, detoxifying supplement uh, that will help, um, help, clean out the, help him clean out the Agent Orange and anything else that he's using. And then, I've been uh, hearing about this Nutridyne, Nutridyne that, that's been advertised. Is, is that a detox product? I, I've never heard of it. Do you know what it is? It, um, it's on your show. <laughs> One of the oh, really? Maybe I'm not him, saying it right. It could be. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what it is. And it may, it may be on my show, um, but I don't listen to the commercials, so I can't tell you. Okay. <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> well, it's, so it's I, but he's got a lot of strategies there, a lot of things. Okay. And God bless you. I hope everything works out. That's a terrible thing. Okay. Thank Thanks you so much, Susan. Okay. okay Take care. Bye-bye. All right. Let's move on to, uh, boom, boom, boom. Let's move on to Carol in Washington. Good morning, Carol. Hi. Hey, what's um, up? Before I hit you with my complaint, I want to assure you that I do love you. I oh, thank you. you to everybody to listen to you. Okay. I have learned tons from you. Okay. I had to, I literally screamed when you said, <laughs> Put your eggs in a microwave. <laughs> I thought if somebody would, I thought I, I would get a little hit from that. Here's the th and so tell me what, first tell me what your why you why you're going to scream and I'll tell you my my thoughts on okay. it. Okay, um, 
I have I have a whole file on microwaves and how bad they are for your food. You can go tell, to goodgopher.com. You can go to naturalnews.com. Well, I will, but tell me specifically. Articles, microwaves tell, absolutely dev- dev- No, no, no. Listen, listen, Carol. I know. The value of your food. Carol, listen. I know what you're saying, but I've never heard any good reasons. So tell me the reasons. I, I've heard it all that. Nutritional value. How? How? Carol, it's how? Destroying the very vitamins and phyto, phytonutrients that prevent. How do microwaves destroy food? Health. How do because they do it? I've never, I've never heard. I, I, I believe me. I read natural news. I love natural news, and I love all the. I don't. I hadn't heard it could go for. You've I'll never, look, you've never read how. I never read how it happens. No. Because it's a completely unnatural way to heat food. How uh, does it destroy the? So no, listen. The liquid shakes Carol. so violently. Carol. It ruins the nutritional value. Carol, how exactly does a microwave? I'm you, you're not listening. Okay, go ahead. Tell me. That the microwaves hit the food in a completely unnatural way, causing them to vibrate just like just like a phone up to your uh, child's head, your cell phone. <clears throat> causes a liquid to vibrate so violently it'll cause tumors and it causes disruption in the natural vitamins of food turning it into something completely unnatural and not nutritious i don't hear how i don't hear th- i hear you saying that and i've read that i know what you're it's saying called electricity i don't know what you so mean elect- so you're telling me electricity destroys vitamins no, I told you a microwave. It takes ele- you've got to plug the microwave in to get your electricity to get the microwaves, which is destroying the value of the food. Look it up. I- I've tried. I've looked it up a lot. I've never seen a mechanism. Oh I've never God. seen. I've, I've heard it. I've heard the words that you're saying. That's not the first time I've heard that. I've never seen the exact mechanism. Violent, vi- uh, uh, violently vibration, vibrating, doesn't bu- I don't buy B vitamins and, and vitamin C being destroyed by violent vibrations. Okay, I haven't read go it. To natu- go to Natural News. Okay. Look up, wh- wh- look up why cooking with a microwave destroys cancer-fighting nutrients in food and promotes okay. nutritional deficiencies, and it tells you word for word how and why the exact the exact mechanism the exact mechanism it says in there yeah i'm going to read that the worst here i can read some of it microwave is the worst way to cook foods because microwaves excite the water molecules inside whatever you're cooking causing heat to be formed from the inside out this results in a cell okay hang on though hang on hang on hang on hang on let's take that apart okay don't don't rush here i want to work with i want to figure this out because i've never seen any ever heard any mechanism we're out of time though uh, so real quick, how is that different from the vibration that occurs when you heat it with it with fire? Is it more violent? Because is that what you're saying? The fire would heat it so that it would uh, heat up naturally. Microwaves aren't natural. Go microwaves are natural. There's microwaves that come all they're all over the atmosphere. There's plenty of microwaves. Well, I know, but when they're concentrated, they're completely unnatural. So you because it's because of the concentration. So it, well, listen. I'm at, I wish I could. We could continue, but we're just flat out of time. Well, go but to I will the look. Websites I mentioned. Natural I'm going news. to. What was the other one? Good Gopher. Goodgopher.com. Thank you, Carol. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Have a great day. Okay. I love you, too. Thank you so much. That's really kind. I appreciate that. All right. Uh, Thanks so much for the uh, support, and thank you for listening to The Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Have a wonderful, beautiful, awesome, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now. 